What's up guys, Deliver Matt here, so I'll be continuing Jujutsu Kaisen today. In the last episode, we saw a new curse, I guess, or it was a bunch of curses, which we do not know much about, but there was one curse that was like a volcano head looking curse, whose name I don't think we've heard yet, but it went towards Gojo and challenged Gojo to a fight. Now, I have a feeling it's gonna get clapped by jo uh, Jojo, by Gojo. <laughs> Um, Gojo just doesn't seem like a guy who can lose to anyone, so I wonder how it's gonna go, but I have a feeling it's gonna get clapped. Now, also, we got a Yuji training arc started, so I think it's gonna be a month and a half of training, so I am excited to see how Yuji manages to kind of control his cursed energy and like use like cursed techniques and stuff. Because right now he can barely do anything. We saw one punch with cursed energy, and that's about it from him. And also, Shiguro seems to have some kind of hidden talent. So I said that it might be some kind of spatial, like magic, even though I know it's not magic, but you know, spatial techniques, like you would see in a lot of fantasy settings, some kind of like spatial pockets and stuff. But I guess we're gonna find out. So let's go into Jutsu Kais before I go. Wait, if you want to watch this uncut and unblurred, it's going to be on my page in the description down below, as always. Also, if you are if you haven't been watching many of my other videos, then yes, I'm in a different environment. It's going to be like this for two weeks, or it's going to be less than two weeks uh, now. It's about 10 more days. So, it is what it is. And without further ado, let's go into Jujutsu Kaisen episode 7. いや、中国に着くまで、まだ少しありますけど。いや、we That's Moomin, uh, Moomin Riders VI, right? I, I was re-watching, um, when I was watching a reactor's One Punch Man watch along, and I noticed that it's Moomin Riders VI. That's insane. I'm pretty sure. Yeah? Me after Indian Chile? Jesus. Or Indian chili, I meant Indian curry. Shoot! <laughs> yeah? Volcano head. Without a scratch. Yeah? Like Rimuru? Oh, can they usually not? Oh yeah, I do remember the first one. special mm. What? Wow, that's insane. So Skuna couldn't defeat this guy? I don't want to talk too much over it. Is Skuna only as strong as basically a two-finger special grade because these guys okay i'm gonna talk after the opening please uh what was i saying i was saying that i don't wanna pause it because my setup is currently completely junk and it's gonna mess up my recording <laughs> or it's gonna make it a lot harder at least oh shit yeah? Okay, Gojo. Ooh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ja? Nicolas Cage? Oh, mada, mada. The animation is stellar. Yeah. Yeah. This reminds me a lot of Rimuru fighting uh, Ifrit in like episode 7 or 8. Slime. <laughs> Infinity. Is that his the main expansion? I'm not sure what exactly a domain expansion even is, so. Hmm. Ah, it's kind of like, um, oh, what was that Greek thingy with the hair and the tortoise? Where, um, where it's like, Oh, fuck. I, I can't talk over it. I'm gonna talk after the fight. Hair and tortoise. I'm sure you, most of you guys will know what I'm trying to say though. Ooh. That sounds absolutely broken. Convergence, divergence. Reversal. Curse me. The OST is stellar. Oh, he has power of infinity? That's insane. I love that. Yo, this guy got owned. And he's... So he's supposed to be... Supposed to be... Oh. Oh! The OST is just picking up. It reminds me a little bit of a uh, journal's team. This part. Ooh. Oh shit, the eye? The goblin slayer eye? Is he flying or is he just floating because of the jump? Jogo. Jogo. Okay, Jogo. So, the hair and the tortoise, I think it's like, a hair is into my domain, oh shit, the hair is resting at 10 meters, and the tortoise is, every second it's moving a tenth of the, oh shit, a tenth of the distance left till uh, the, um, till the hair, in how long, how long will it, the tortoise take to reach the hair? And the answer is never. Because it's gonna move one meter, and then it's gonna move like one tenth of nine meters, and then one tenth of whatever's left, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, and it's never gonna get to um, 10 meters. It's gonna go into infinity, and it's gonna get closer and closer and closer, but it's gonna be... It's gonna converge towards 10 meters, but it's never gonna... Oh shit. It's never gonna actually reach them. Mm. Okay. So he's a natural in controlling. Oh. The main expansion. Okay. So this is the thing that I've been hearing about. Why? 
先生俺10秒前まで高専にいたよねどうなってんのああ飛んだのまあ説明するうんいややはり生きていたか Reward. Reward. So they can teleport, I see. Liomenskuga. 君は気にせず戦ってよ。自ら足手まといを連れてくると、うん、愚かだな。<笑>大丈夫でしょう。だって君に弱いもん。That's the catchphrase, isn't it? うん。うん。こんなやつをやけそうなことを飲み込んでくれる。I heard that catchphrase before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The animation is so good. Oh. The employees, or the employees, the animators are doing God's work. Big ups to the animators working on this. It just looks sour. これが領域展開。技術指標を付与した収益領域を自力で周囲に構築する。オッケー。君たちが正面で体験したのは、術式の付与されていない未完成の領域。オッケー。ちゃんとした領域なら、So okay. you kind of it's kind of like a field, right? めぐみは分かってたんじゃないかな。うん。領域を広げる。That makes you stronger. Okay. Yeah, that makes it's kind of like um an R a TRPG or I guess, but it's, yeah, it more reminds me of like um not TRPGs, uh, um, TCGs, where you would put down a field and it would buff all skills that are linked to the field. Imbued with okay. でも安心して。相性法の幾つかある。今みたいに呪術で受けるか。これはあまりお勧めしないけど。領域外に逃げる。相手無理。そして、Prison Round. It happens this early? He shows his eyes that early? Oh, is the thumbnail coming? Yup. Oh my god! Ah, he's hot! 
<laughs> yeah! Damn! Oh, that's such a sick domain. Infinite Void? That's so sick. I love any abilities that are related to, like, math. Ooh. <laughs> like, math uh, concepts. Mathematical concepts. With, like, infinity or, like, chaos theory or something like that. It's always so sick. Oh, that was that's sick. Oh my god. He looks completely different without the um without the eye band. でも君には聞きたいことがあるから、これくらいで勘弁してあげる。いや。さて、誰に言われてここに来た？これが呪術大教。Holy. ああ。どうする助ける私は合戦関係者に顔を見られるわけにはいかないから。ここで帰らせてもらう。助けたいなら助けるからさ。君たちにそんな情があるかは知らないけど。君たちにそんな情があるかは知らないけど。We... Was this? I can't pause it. I'm gonna check it after uh, I finish. It's at... Wow, it's already this late. Almost 17 minutes in. Okay. I'm pretty sure I was, I was about to say why is Gojo this strong, but I'm pretty sure season two goes into detail. Like the first arc is Gojo's backstory, right? I think so. Ooh, okay. This is not a domain, right? <laughs> Oh, I've seen this before. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what I call them, Volcano Head. <laughs><笑>あれにか。目標は具体的な方がいいでしょ。いや、連れてきてよかった。うん。いや。<laughs> Was the curse's name Jogo? Is it? Was it? Maybe not. I know they said it just earlier and I was... I made a note of it but I already forgot. Oh. So I'm guessing every Jujutsu sorcerer kinda gets their own or like learns their own Domain, right? That suits them. Ah, yeah. We already know that. He doesn't. Oh, it's the driver.
So I'm guessing he has some kind of deal with, or like, not deal, but I'm guessing he's kind of undercover at the school or something like that, because he said he doesn't want his face to be known in the school. So I'm guessing I've seen this guy before. Jogo. It is Jogo. Jogo Ghetto. Mahito or Makihito or something like that, right? Hanami. I've heard whispers of Yuji and Hanami fight being incredible. Or not Yuji and Hanami, just Hanami fight. Okay, so this is Hanami. Okay. Jogo. Is it? I'm guessing there's no correlation between Jogo and Gojo being like the same name, just like, you know, switched around. Mm. Shibuya? Okay, so I'm guessing this is the ship, the fated, or not the fated, but the famous Shibuya arc in season 2, right? Wait, was it Mahito? <laughs> so. Mahito Go uh, Jogo Geto and Hanami. Right? Okay. No? Oh no. Yeah. Is Hanami in the goal? Yeah. <laughs> Mahito, yeah. Oh, a bicycle kick! Shoot! Oh, sick! Okay, some blue lock up in here. I have a feeling you can't. Okay, so this is it. Okay, wait, let me first, before I jump into the discussion, let me check what Hanami said earlier. We do... Wait. We're the true humans after all. We do. We are the true, true humans after all. Okay, so that's what he said. Um, okay, so I don't have a theory per se, but I do have a lot of questions regarding it, which I don't want you guys to answer because I know they're going to get answered in the future episodes, I just want to think out loud so you guys know what I'm thinking. Um, humans, curses, so Ghetto, people can see him, meaning he has some kind of manifested body or he has some kind of human body, but he's also a curse, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna guess he's using this body as a vessel, kind of like Skuna, how Skuna is using Yuji as a vessel. But I have a feeling Geto fully possessed the body, while Skuna didn't, right? And I am gonna guess that Mahito is the same, but that's, um, there's no grounds for that yet. Uh, I don't know why I have a feeling that Mahito is the same. Maybe he's not, but I have a feeling Mahito and Geto are the same, and then Hanami and Jogo are invisible to the humans. So... Yes, this episode was absolutely insane. It's, it's a, yeah, it's the best episode so far, in my opinion. Yeah, or best is maybe um, not the best word to say, but maybe my favorite so far. Yeah, the OST was stellar, the animation was stellar, Gojo's eyes were beautiful, of course. He looks like a completely different person with his blindfold off, blindfold off. So, and we're gonna get to know a little bit more about the Jujutsu techniques. That's really cool. I thought that at first, I think I said it in like episode 1 or 2 or whatever, that I did know about the main expansion before, um, because everyone memes it, obviously. It's kind of like Bankai. I never, like I watched 5 episodes of Bleach, but I already know about Bankai and stuff, right? Because everyone's talking about it. So, I knew about the main expansion, but I thought it was like a Gojo special technique, because I know the panel where it's like Gojo saying the main expansion, right? It's kind of like, 
I'm not. It's kind of like the Gojo panel of saying not win. But yeah, the main expansion I knew about, but I thought it was Gojo's special power. So it's very interesting that everyone can learn it. It's like a staple power that every Jujutsu Sorcerer or strong Jujutsu Sorcerer has. So, and everyone can like shape it to be their own. Kind of like, as I said, a field that you would put on and it would empower your abilities and stuff. Wait, I think you... This, yeah. Uh, which, is really, uh, which is really cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Nen in Hunter x Hunter. How everyone has a completely different uh, moveset and skill set and stuff. Even though I think Nen is still the best power system that I've seen so far in anime. Um, but, of course, I'm gonna have to see more of the Cursed Energy and stuff. So, yeah, I'm guess I guess I'm just gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go straight into episode 8 of the Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's see it! I wanna get to know more of the uh, power system. Seems like it could be used for some really fun things. Yeah? There's so many though. What? Oh, Panda! Pasita。お、かっこ。大丈夫か。シャケ。山菜じゃねえんだ。お使いくらいで金だぞ。いや、そうじゃなくて、京太郎。京都の学長が来るの。うん。さ。うん。特級案件に1年派遣の異常事態。悟ると この手だって騒ぎを起こさねえって。シャケ。うん。教員は立場が。アグリッド。生徒はそうでもないが。来てるっていうのは。マイ。憶測だよ。マイ。打ち合わせに生徒は関係ないからな。でもな。あいつら
血は肉を。俺の魂のオフランチを。最後の交流会で退屈にさせられた。何しでかすか。I have a feeling s u g a r is extremely boring. ジュリッコーテンという年頭でしょ。交流会は三年までなんだよ。俺なりの優しい。I thought that Japanese high schools are、uh, three year high schools. Maybe not. <laughs> Answer them! That's the most boring answer. Oh, that's boring, isn't it? Yeah, that's the most boring answer you could give. Yeah. Actually, I don't mind that that much, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Bob g r a y Todo. Yeah, she's. <laughs> Classic. Man versus wi women friendship. <laughs> That he's boring? Yes, honestly, same. Toto. <laughs> Oh, he's famous? Geto. Okay. He's sick, nasty, then. Oh, Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. I love summoning jitsus. I wonder what his domain is gonna end up being. Ah, <laughs> it's like that Nichi Jo episode with the principal and the deer. Oh. Oh my god, he's insane. I love Toto. Oh, shit. Oh? Oh? Oh, 
shit. Giri giri safe. Oh, okay. So. Panda. Panda seems like a melee power type similar to Todo. Obviously, they both definitely have some kind of curse te uh, techniques as well, right? But they both seem like they're primarily strength types. <laughs> oh my god, and she just uses a gun. Oh! Classic sister love. Or sibling love, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay. So they're like... Wait, actually, is Nobara a first year? She is, right? I guess she's a first year at Jujutsu High, not, not a first year at... In high school in general, right? She's not 15, probably. Hmm. Are they 15? I don't think so. They're like probably 17 or something, right? They look... Kind of 17. Isn't that a compliment? Um, so the guy, the, the salmon guy, the tuna guy, I forgot his name, someone mentioned that his ability is kind of, it wasn't like a spoiler, it was Kenche, Kenche event? Fuck yeah, my god, 180, an idle 180 centimeters tall? You don't see that often. Yo, my guy. Um, someone mentioned that the tuna guy can kind of... Make things through, like everything that he says kind of has some kind of power behind it. So he uses ingredients in to say things instead of actual words so they don't hurt anyone. It's kind of like Bewilderer ability in Slime. I'm referencing Slime again. I love that anime. Ah, okay. That's it explains the opening. Oh, so she's kind of like Tenten in Naruto. She uses tools instead of her own... Mm, that's sick. Ah, okay. That's sick. I like her. Oh, she's kind of like a, an older sister to her. That's cute. Asso. Okay. Ah! She's the girl from the opening. Oh, is that the principal of Kyoto? Oh, so 
ポッチそのせいとはたぼけんなよじじいたとりゆうじのことだおしはいとあんたも一枚勘弁だろう<笑>やれやれ最近の若者は敬語もろくに使えるのあなから上回しがねえんだよ<笑>最近の老人は主語がでかくてまえるよほんとちょっとこれは問題行動ですよ。しかるべきところに。あらかるデザイン。It's very clean.Oh my god.Oh my god.Go to me, I'm going to go to the house. Never mind.Never mind.Sakban, me to look on the future. I mean, I can't blame her. <laughs> I would feel the same. I would be dripping. I'm sorry. 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 I'm 去年のゲトスグルの一件。Because they keep mentioning him, but I don't know who that is. Am I forgetting someone? Maybe. 少なめですよ。何が言いたい？わかんない。I'm sure I'm gonna see in the future episodes. ためにせき止めていた力の波が、もうどうしようもなく大きくなって押し寄せてるんだよ。俺からの手紙は特急なんて物差しや。Oh, is that Okutsu? The guy from the opening with black hair? Like at the very end of the opening, I think he's sitting with Yuji. At like a picnic or something. <laughs> Who is she? Yeah. Me, what? Hi, I really like her design. <laughs> of duty, here you go, my guy, to a handshake event. Hell yeah. My guy's an idol fan. What a chad. One month. Oh, sh we're skipping the training. Cinema, cinema. Merlin Smy. Oh, he looks dead. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Hmm. There's something off about him. I think their haircut is weird. What is this called? High school boys. Increase cranial pressure. Ooh, cranial deform deformation? Deformity? Mahito? Is it? Yes. Mahito Kun. Okay, so people can see him. Or is he not a normal person? Because I'm still not 100% sure. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Scrap what I said at the end of the previous episode. It seems like Mahito is a curse. Like, he's not like Geto. Nanami? Right? I've seen clips of him. I've seen people thirsting over him. Oh, yes, yeah, a Juju Sampo. Oh, wait, what? Oh, she got the picture. Cute. Miwa, right? Miwa. I love her design. I don't know why. It's, it's very simple, but I do really like it. 
back to work mode. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, yes! It's too late. I'll take it. Yeah, that's it. Nah, my guy gets it. Most sane idol fan. A gun? <laughs> She's getting convinced. Yeah, <laughs> she's falling for idols. I love it. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> That was, that was, oh, that was great. Oh, that ending made the episode even like 10 times better. <laughs> Holy shit. This was, oh, oh, oh. I just watched Love Live after, before watching this. Whew. This, it went, it, it goes hand in hand, this part. Oh, I want to see more of that. <laughs> More of total just going around like idol concerts and idol handshake events and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Toto might be like I don't know enough about him yet, but he might be definitely one of my favorite characters uh, when I get to know more of him. More about him. Wow, what a cool character. Also, Mai, if she calms down a little bit, I think I'm gonna like her as well. Okay. Uh Miwa, Miwa has one of my favorite designs. Like, just visually, she's very simple, but very cool. Maybe because she's wearing, like, a suit and, I don't know, something about her just looks really cool. Um, I'm not sure about her personality, though. She is a bit of a S-I-M-P. Um, but, anyways, I have no idea who Okotsu is. I'm sure I'm gonna find out, even if, I, if he was mentioned and showed earlier. I'm sure... I'm gonna see them again later on and I'm gonna remember or find out who they are. So I don't think that's it's a big of, that big of a problem. What else happened? We saw Nanami at the end. Who I'm pretty, pretty sure it's the same VA as Kishibe in Chainsaw Man, right? Which is pretty cool. And we saw Macht. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. That's right. Machto. So he was surprised that someone could see him. So my guess would be that he's not the same as Geto, that he's the same as like the Jogo or Hanami, where they are curses who can't be seen by anyone except Jujutsu Sorcerers. So I'm guessing the person who saw him is a Jujutsu Sorcerer. Yes. And Mahito was surprised. So Geto is the only one who's visible by everyone. Like even normal people who don't have any cursed energy. Which is pretty interesting to see i wonder why that is but i'm sure it's gonna get explained later also we saw a little bit of the tuna guy's power whose name i forgot i'm gonna find out later on it it it's not that big of a deal i'm gonna try to remember it but i'm gonna drill it in my head um sooner or later so no worries there uh we got to see a little bit of his power and he's extremely strong it the ability is almost exactly the same as it is in um, Slime Bewilder, Kirara's Bewilder, Bewilderer, which is cool because we didn't get to see much of it in Slime. And she couldn't turn it off and on, or she could turn it off and on in Slime, but he can't turn it on and off. So I do also wonder if the potency of the attack 
changes like depending on whether he has his mouth like showing or whether he has it zipped up because he has his mouth zipped up and he's avoiding speaking in normal terms which i'm not sure if it has anything to do with his power or when he's unzipping his mouth he's kind of just like doing it to look cool i'm not sure i guess we're gonna find out um so this were great episodes is there anything else i think that's it uh it's gonna be unedited and uncut on my patreon as always link in the description down below and yeah that's gonna be all for me if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace